Okay, this is very strange. Um, all of a sudden, the sound has died. Anyway, hello everybody, I am Jandy the Artsy Rays, and welcome back to Akira's Wicked Escape. We shall... Pardon me for a moment. Let me see if I can... All of a sudden, the sound is dead, and that is quite odd. I wonder what the deal is. Anyway, um, I'm going to perform a little experiment. Normally, I like to go for the ap the peach ending, the peach flower ending before I get the apricot ending. But I just want to do something to perform a wee little experiment. So I'm going to get the apricot ending for Akira. Apricot flower ending. Yes! The song's back! Still in the sight of Ayamina, huh? The group of five begins to worry when Ayamina and Akira fail to return. Do you think something happened to them? Like, they were attacked by ghosts? Perhaps they got stuck in a trap and weren't able to escape, and aren't able to escape. You're all reading way too- You're all reading way too far. Yeah, they're probably busy with their hands full of each other. This is not the time to be joking! Kikyo snaps at Renda and Ibuki, who aren't taking it seriously. He then stares suspiciously at the castle. We have long waited long and We have waited long- We have- waited long enough already. It's time to take action. I'm coming. I'll start to feel rusty if I don't get up, if I don't get up and move. Me too! Adventures like this get me so excited! Must I remind you that this is not playtime? When those three march fearlessly towards the castle, Renda and Ibuki exchange glances and stand up. Guess we don't have much of a choice. Shall we? And so the five of them step into the castle in search of a Yamina and a Kira. The ghost wants us to entertain them by solving the mystery. Once we succeed, they give us a hint on how to restore nature to Hakuto Island. In pursuit, of that ha in pursuit of that promise, we enter the cemetery again to unravel the mystery. Through some creative thinking, through some creative thinking, we seem to have reached the answer. It get it? I get it. This castle, it must have been transported to an oasis on the island. That has to be it. I nod to agree with his conclusion. When the ghosts are around, it's bright outside and there are trees. They must have been moving the castle to some oasis when they showed up. When they showed up. We look at each other and pump our fists in the air. We've got it! The mystery is solved! Yeah, now we can hear the hint from the ghosts! We're beaming with, we're brimming with excitement to tell the ghosts our discovery. And how many episodes do we have here? We have five. Hey, cutie. It's not loading. Oh, my poor baby girl. <laughs> You're so funny! Huh? What are you laughing at? Hearing the ghost's wild laughter from the corridor, Akira and I swing open the door. Hey, what's so funny? Akira cries out for an explanation, but the ghosts keep laughing hysterically. We can't help it! <laughs> hey, quit laughing! Angered Akira tries to snatch one of the ghosts, but it nimbly evades his hand. Can't you hear yourselves? Do you really think that we disembodied ghosts could carry a castle to some oasis? Well, when you put it that way... The two of us groan, realizing that our answer is wrong. Then how do you explain all that greenery out there? With the ghost's appearance, the scenery out the window looks much like an oasis. I take in all that I know and try to assess the situation. Even though Hokuto Island gets sunlight and rain now, there's no way that so many trees could grow like that. It's true. You're not looking at Hokuto Island, you know. What do you mean? What is it that we're looking at? It's simple. The ghosts circle and spin through the air as if gloating over their knowledge. We just went back in time when Hokuto Island still had nature. Went back? Went back in time? Yeah, it's like a time slip. Akira and I are completely stunned, caught off guard by this turn of events. If you think of it that way, it does make sense. 
So that's why the second the scenery changes when the ghosts are around. Did you notice the weeds in the cemetery? One of the ghosts asked as if having something more to add. Having more to add. There was a bunch of spices that were now extinct. Oh, I see. I remember the weeds I saw in the cemetery. None of those no longer exist on Hakuto Island. Before you were born, Hokuto Island had so many flowers and trees. His words make me remember something that Yoshimasa once told me. Back in the era when Yoshi... When Yoshits... Yoshitsune Minamoto lived, Yamato Island and Hokuto Island were one country. Hokuto Island was beautiful and full of nature, just like Yamato Island today. So the ghosts want to show us was the Hokuto Island of the past. I feel like they were trying to tell us something about the current state of Hokuto Island. Yoshimasa, who knows so much more about its history, could have solved that mystery in a flash. There are all sorts of things in the castle from back when Hokuto Island was beautiful. I see. Back when Hokuto Island was beautiful, you say. It's a shame that I didn't know. I need to educate myself better. About Hokuto Island, that is. I stare at Akira's face and promise myself to learn anything I can in the future. Which means that you are incorrect! Too bad! As much as I hate to admit it, they're right. Our shoulders slump as the ghosts laugh and chuckle. I like what you're trying to do for Hokuto Island. Even if you guessed wrong, your answer was entertaining enough. Thanks for making us laugh! For making us laugh! You get a special present! After thanking us, the ghosts vanish. And of course, I would make a goof like that when I was. After thanking us, the ghost Spanish. A present? I don't know what they're talking about. I look back at the cemetery door, remembering how they led us there first. If there's anything they left for us, don't you think it'd be back there? Isn't this just another prank of theirs? Isn't this just another prank of theirs? Akira looked under his breath while opening the door. That flower! It's the blue flower Akira told me about, which grew only on Hakuto Island. The vivid blue flower is tucked nicely away in a corner of the cemetery. The present from the ghosts must be this flower. I stand next to Akira and stare at the sweet little flower. I hope to make this flower bloom everywhere, blossom everywhere in Hakuto Island one day. I better thank the ghosts. Akira says in a kind voice as he gently squeezes my hand. I think I got too excited for rain and sunlight to come. I think I got too excited for rain and sunlight to come back on Hakuto Island. It distracted me from thinking about the actual plan to bring nature back. Thanks to the ghosts, I finally realized. Akira faces me, his tender eyes squinting. And now would be a very reasonable time for everyone to kind of bust in on this little happy occasion. Because you know, that's kind of a cliche in romance. <laughs> I'm terrible. Ah. Well, never mind. <laughs> well, my test was a dud. I shall be right back. Well, if... Okay, let's try again.
Ayamina, I must have taken you for granted. So thanks for being at my side. His gentle eyes stare straight into mine. That gaze of his makes me happy and embarrassed at the same time. It's like he controls my emotions. I feel the same way. Thank you for being there for me. You're so adorable. My blushing face causes Akira to embrace me. I know that there is a bright future for Hakuto Island. And we'll make a bright future for ourselves as well. So, so, a charming smile on his face, Akira leans in close to me. Let's seal the deal with a kiss. Is that all right? The very moment our lips come in contact. Yep. Ayamina! <laughs> what are you doing? I knew it. I told you guys, this is why I didn't want to come. She ran and the eyes bar- the Shiraya and the others barge in in the room, each feeling a different set of emotions. I can't believe you guys. It was just getting... I was just getting to the good part. Weren't you supposed to be searching the castle for clues? Akira seems annoyed. Kikio looks much the same. Ayamina, you were taking so long that we all got worried. I'm sorry, Shiraya. Hey, just because you were worried doesn't mean you get to cling to her. Cling, cling on her. Kikio grapples Shiraya by the collar when he tries to give me a hug. So, did you figure anything out? When Ibuki poses the question, I begin explaining to everyone all that happened with the ghost. A time slip into Okuto Island's past? How romantic! And very unscientific. Sounds like you met an interesting rabble of ghosts. While the others are shocked, Ibuki smiles softly while looking at the blue flower. So this is the flower, huh? A present from the ghost. Ibuki, do you recognize that flower? Yeah, I saw the same flower on the first day I came to Hokuto Island. As if reliving, as in, as if reliving the distant past, Ibuki continues. I was so anxious coming to this unknown island that seeing this flower was a welcome sight. It was a welcoming sight. I didn't know that there was a time you were, and you were such a sensitive man, Ibuki. Me neither. By the time I knew him, he was already a monster. Did you know that he tried to push me down on the day we first met? Hey, that was because of your look! And <laughs> look what you've become! You're like a- And look what you've become! You're like a monster when you're around a Yamina. You're like a monster when you're around a Yamina. You're about to do something you didn't want us to know. No, you were about to do something you didn't want us to know. Isn't that right? Knowing that everyone saw us when we were just about to kiss, my cheeks flush red. Why does everyone- why does everything with you have to be naughty? Why does everything with you have to be naughty? I can't stand this idiot. Who are you calling an idiot? <laughs> oh, please, we all know better. Um... Ibuki mutters in an appalled voice while Akira and Ibuki- Oh, uh, I mean, Kikio mutters in an appalled voice while Akira and Ibuki are busy bickering. I'm afraid that the conversation has deviated. Quit arguing like children. Yeah, it's like watching how Kaito and Kikyo were in the old days. They still argue like that sometimes, even to this day. Shut up. Quiet, you. K Kaito and Kikyo turn glares at the chuckling Shiraya. <laughs> Kaito and Kikyo look disgruntled. Shiraya and Randall keep teasing. Though they argue, Ibuki and Akira never fail to support each other. We're all friends and comrades. We're all in this together. Some things change, and others stay the same. What Hakatu Island needs is a change. I know we can't change everything overnight. Pardon. I love her outfit. Let's change for the better, little by little. I tell myself while smiling at the little blue flower. The futures of Yamato Hakuto Island will only get better with time. Yay! <sighs> and now I'm back to the races. Goodbye, everybody. That was the apricot ending. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.